What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video review today we are going to take a look at Spider-Man Far From Home Mysterious Iron Man Illusion and if you are interested in this figure you can head over to BigBadToyStore.com I'll put the link down below that's where I pretty much purchase all of my Hot Toys figures $4 shipping put it on pile of loot they ship it all at once and they double box your item so let's take a look at this figure this is I mean the Spider-Man Far From Home line has been really great. From Mysterio to uh, the upgraded suit to the homemade suit and, and even the stealth suit. So this is a nice addition if you are into that lineup because it's very unique. A little expensive, but very unique. Uh, but let's take a look at this guy right here. As you can see, it's uh, you know fresh out of the box here. It's uh, if you're an Iron Man fan, for example, or a fan of the movie, this is a good way to, I guess, cap it off. I think this is the last figure from that line. Uh, I think the no, the battling suit is from uh, No Way Home. But as you can see here, the Iron Man figure is from Mark 46, which is highly sought after to begin with. Not anymore because it's been sitting there. But you get this mini drone, as you can see, pretty cool. You got only two hands. Honestly, you don't even need more than a couple of hands here. Uh, you got the figure itself, which is by and far not die cast. You know, like, let's just put it out of the way. It is made out of plastic, but it's it's very well made. A lot of details in this figure. You have a few plastic pieces that honestly I'm not even gonna put in uh, to the figure. There's a lot of things that, even the batteries, I'm not even gonna put in the batteries. Because this is Iron Man Mysterio. This is when I believe Peter was dreaming or Mysterio gave him that, that vision of some sort. But I feel like the highlight of this package is the base. The base is just phenomenal. And as you guys know, I've had a good appreciation for diorama pieces now for not only just bases but diorama in in general and this base looks phenomenal it works for other figures as well uh and it does light up so that is uh that's an important factor right there because diorama pieces in itself is already expensive so you almost saw the entire accessories there but let's take a closer look at them uh, you can see this is the repulsor hands. A lot of damage is there. Uh, some scratches and, and dings. And these are the plastic pieces. They are made out of thin plastic. And you got to break some tabs. Insert it into the figure if you choose to do so. Uh, it adds, you know, like value and look to the figure itself. Uh, but I don't know if I want to do that, honestly. Um, and you got the small drone in here which you also would get if you do have the uh but this one has this this blasting effects nicely painted here as you can see very nice um you just there's like a small ball joint right there which you can peg in to the base itself which i already said it earlier i love the base this base looks phenomenal and there's one of those you can see kind of like the jigsaw puzzle pieces that you could also insert at the bottom i personally wouldn't do that uh you could if you wanted to i know i had that effects on my homemade suit spider-man but i just don't want to take away from the green smoke i've always loved this green smoke even from the Mysterio figure that I do have. And you can see a tombstone here. It says Anthony Edward Stark. This base is quite large as well. So you could... And it does have that um, that waist grabber in front of him. And you can see it around a lot of details in here. There's even moss green effect on the tombstone itself. It is just beautiful. Now, without lights... It already looks phenomenal. But if you add the lights to the equation, that brings it to a whole new level in my opinion. But you can quite see here, this is Iron Man. I was kind of standing him up there. But let's take this from behind and light it up. 
there's two modes into this one they got the pulsating one and the non pulsating one and this is and let me just turn off the lights here so you can clearly appreciate uh, how it looks so in the dark especially on let's say you have it on display it looks great it takes three AAA batteries and you can see the bottom part there it also does light up so this by itself I would say if you buy the base it would already cost probably upwards of 130 maybe and this is the mode 2 as you can see here it's pulsating as well so it gives you that smoky effect as well I love this personally and I'm using a rechargeable batteries and again you don't you don't have to use it particularly just with Iron Man uh, which is the mark 46 you could also use Mysterio here so if you put Mysterio in and use this base you can cover the tombstone because of his cape so that is possible as well as you can see here it's a very nice look for Mysterio as well so it's not solely for Iron Man but hey if you have Mysterio or Spider-Man that would work as well you can put Spider-Man kneeling down there's a lot of usefulness to this base now let's take a look at the armor armor looks phenomenal again the details that they have here if maybe one thing that you would say it's it's not die cast but i feel like it doesn't have to be plus i don't know how are you gonna do this type of details on a die cast figure you know because it's it's metal but by being making it plastic you are you have more freedom to you know put this exposed wires I don't know hot toys just even under mark one they never really have put a good i would say die cast battle damage mark 85 is a good one but it's not as heavily damaged as this guy right here the paint application looks phenomenal uh the dents uh the exposed internals as well as you can you can see here the brushed metal it looks great so this goes i would say this would hit three types of collectors one is a completionist for the spider-man no way home that's one the other one is for if you are an iron man collector yourself this is a very unique iron man you can see the plates in there some exposed i would say that's just okay so if tony stark is in there where where does his shin go okay because that looks like a bone and i don't know okay um but yeah there's a lot of paint damages in here rough edges exposed met metal and 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 wirings and all that stuff you can see the diamond plating on his shin uh where the turbine's supposed to go a lot of nice details in here the dust the speckles the rustiness you can feel the grit of the figure itself so I know this is not the most popular armor out there, but it it hits a certain type of demographic and also a certain type of collector to appreciate this. Now, again, I'm not gonna rule out the price because it's a bit hefty. You know, you look it up and it's four hundred dollars, but it's constantly on sale now. So, you know, if that makes any difference, but you see the bicep even has a torn end on a plus side even if you drop this figure you wouldn't even know that you dropped it because of how many battle damage pieces <laughs> that this guy does have even if you chip the paint or whatever uh it, it would look minimal compared to all the weathering that is attached and and anytime that you have this type of details and weathering on an armor i don't know i just appreciate battle damage a little bit more than the clean version just because it does give you that grit and in a different type of feeling on an armor it just feels like it's more difficult you see this there's even like protruding uh pieces outside of the armor now let's take a look at the head sculpt head sculpt is just on point the same as the body you can see there's a skull underneath that beautiful helmet of mark IV. i love mark 46 first and foremost that armor i think is the bridge between the nanotech which is around the mark 50 
and the traditional armor which was you know around maybe mark 7 i would say so it's kind of like a combination of both worlds and you get that this kind of slimline figure where compared to like to say the mark 4 or mark 7 they're a bit bulky because we do know it's it's an armor right like it's it's a robotic figure that iron man is inside compared to the nanotech which just kind of wraps around his body so this is a good hybrid between the two that's why i don't know mark 46 just a special place in my heart but that that this head sculpt as well looks great um you can have you can zombify this i i suppose you can have this displayed with your zombie deadpool uh, or with your Iron Man, um, Venomized Iron Man, or with your Far From Home figure. So there's a lot of display option with this guy. Now let's take a look at the articulation. Now this is still a normal Iron Man figure. So despite it being heavily battle damaged and all that stuff, it's it does have that usual suspect. As you can see here, you can pull down the leg for more articulation um double bicep joint uh elbows you know you can tuck it in nicely as well uh you you all have those usual iron man points of articulation here uh toe articulation here uh just not die cast you know the you probably won't even need this much articulation because because of what he is he is an illusion he's he's more of like a, a zombie who's trying to be scary so you don't need to do a ground pound pose or stuff like that so you know i mean you could i suppose uh it's there but i just don't see myself doing that poses uh which speaking of which let's take a look at this guy uh here he is just you know basically trying to be scary that's all that i'm trying to accomplish here trying to reach out you know kind of like with tony stark in the movie you know to reach out to peter parker and for the most part i would say on your display that's kind of like how you are gonna display him i don't see anyone using the repulsor hands doing the regular uh iron man display or poses now this is mysterio as you can see here flying around like i said earlier mysterio looks really good in this base so if you're into bases and all that stuff woo, i'm telling you this base doesn't even have a plaque or name plate on it so it is highly possible i'm just not a big fan of that waist grabber and there's not a whole lot of flat surface on that base for you to be able to have him just stand up and here he is next to another figure who has a kind of like a larger diorama base well that's not really a base but it's one of those drones that comes with a far from home uh figure which is the uh homemade suit here he is kind of like fighting if i remember correct correctly i haven't seen the movie in, since it came out they kind of had a fight i don't know if that was him or actually mysterio but yeah they had a kind of had this battle for a moment maybe it was mysterio because i know i remember iron man was really brief on that scene it wasn't too long so final thoughts on this figure i think it's severely underrated you can see here it's pulsating here because my green screen is messing with uh the green lights in here which gives it a little bit more of a glitchy look ironically uh but very underrated it looks really good it has a lot of display options it's still iron man at the end of the day in a very good movie i i really enjoyed far from home now with that being said if you can look past over the price or if you can grab this for a nice discount it would make the deal even sweeter uh the base itself in my opinion is worth at a minimum 135 i bought more third-party um bases slash um diorama pieces a lot more expensive without the light of functionality so you know the base itself now if you are low in space maybe you're not interested in that i totally get it or if you if you if you decided to skip on this i don't blame you it it's a very uh with, with a lot of options that we do have right now i can totally get why somebody 
would not choose this or would choose something else before this. This is a very scene specific uh, figure, uh, which only worked really for that scene. Now, once you do get this, you realize how good the figure is, but it still doesn't change the fact that it's kind of expensive. And if you don't have, let's say, zombie Deadpool or any other far from home figures or any other Iron Man figures, you know, it shouldn't be a priority. With that being said, it it's still a really solid release from Hot Toys. The base looks great. The figure itself looks looks great as well i mean with all the details on it so i still recommend it but you know kind of like on the back end let me know what you think in the comment section thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one